Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions. I'm doing a quick video because we're doing a full refitting of our Mac Pro, and figured I'd do a video, uh, walk you guys through the whole process. In video productions and graphic design and all that we do here at IMX, you need a very powerful machine. And we have an early 2009 Mac Pro that we're using right now. It's basically on its last leg, so we're gonna see what we can do to really boost it up. The first thing we decided to do is install an SSD, a solid state drive. I've been told by countless people that you do this and your computer will perform 10 times faster just by changing the drive where your, where your OS and all your software is installed. So here's what we got. We got an Intel solid state drive, 520 series, 240 gigs. Here is the drive itself. Very uh, kind of like a, hard, uh, a laptop drive, it's a small drive. So you open up your Mac right here and this is what you see and you know, you've got your, pull out your drives here. Okay, and this is your little drive tray. Now the problem is the SSD bracket doesn't fit on this uh, on this this bracket here, and so when you shove it back in, it's not going to line properly. So after some extensive research online, the what they told me to do is you pull out your optical drives here, and here's where we're going to install because we got a, a nice regular uh, hard drive plug in there. Now the problem is we currently have two um, DVD drives in there, so we're, we will have to take one out in order to put in the SSD. But in all honesty, you know, five years ago it would have been like, well, you know, I make a lot of, I burn a lot of DVDs. I don't burn DVDs anymore. I really don't. If we have to produce video DVDs, we outsource that, and most everything comes in hard drives or or uh, or USB sticks and stuff like that nowadays. So we can do with one um, DVD drive and we'll use the other slot for the SSD. And the great thing about that is then we're not using our hard drive base. So for our store, for our generic storage, storing video files and, and stuff like that, and graphic files, we now have four available bays that we can shove four two terabyte drives in. So I mean, that's eight terabytes in there just for, just for data, that's a lot of room. So in the end, it's not what I expected, but you know what, it's actually better. Now let me be clear, I'm a video editor and I'm a graphic designer. I'm not a computer technician, but Following two very simple uh, tutorials on YouTube, I'll put the links right here, um, I was able to first create a uh, mountain lion boot disk onto a USB and then install a fresh copy of uh, mountain lion to the new SSD. This was really simple, honestly it took me about an hour. Okay, so I'm going to boot this and we're going to see how fast this SSD um, loads up. You most definitely heard that. Look at that. We're already at our login screen. And we're in. That was like a, a, a that was like a 20 to 30 second boot. So, in conclusion, if you have an early 2009 Mac Pro that shipped with a regular hard drive as your primary, I highly recommend uh, swapping that out for an SSD. Okay, this is Rob Baldwin. Uh, thanks for watching this video.